Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel Wheels Adventures. We are joining you today from Barcelona. We are sitting here in the Colon Hotel up on the seventh floor, uh, which is known as the Colon Terrace with one of the best rooftop bars in Barcelona with a view over the cathedral. We are going to be taking you around today, showing you some of the main and the best things to do here when you are in the city of Barcelona. So come along and check it out with us. Here we have the famous Barcelona Cathedral. Absolutely stunning and took in the region of 150 years to completely build from the ground up. As you can see by the cathedral, so many people come to take a look at this amazing architecture. Everyone taking photos, a really busy spot. One of the main things that you have to come and see when visiting Barcelona. Just had a heart made by the clown. Woohoo! <laughs> thank you. Poodle, thank you. We found a cool little anime shop where Cora wants to have a look. So we're going to have a little look around all the anime you can think of. Is that Jesus? I think that's meant to be Jesus. Anime Jesus. It's like a little section on one of the back streets in Barcelona where there's loads of stuff for kids, sweets, toys, Wonka shop. Oh wow. So we got a Willy Wonka candy shop. More children things through this little arcade. Teddies. A lot of retro things. So much going on here. This arcade just keep going and going. So cool. We are now inside the cathedral. Wow. Look how stunning all this is. All the candles lit. Absolutely unbelievable place. We are now going down by the altar where you can only get so far due to it being cordoned off. Amazing. We have paid to come in here. It was eight euros per person. And at 12.30 in a few minutes, we have got the guided walk where we can climb to the top. So we are now going to climb the bell tower. 270 steps upwards. We are now climbing up the famous Barcelona Cathedral. Oh, very dark in here. Tasha and Cora are outside with the baby. Cora didn't fancy climbing the 270 steps, so we are now going right up to the top. Should be a spectacular view. Very narrow stairways. All the way up we go. We are now at the top of the bell tower. So we're just going to show you some of the views we've got of Barcelona from up here in the famous cathedral. Starting to get a lot higher now. We are now on the top floor, the highest point. Look at them views. Absolutely incredible. 
we can go right the way around. Absolutely brilliant. There's only a small group of us that have decided to do the walk up, but I had to come up and see the view. With the centre of Barcelona being so busy, we came off the beaten track slightly in one of the back streets to find Burger House. We paid 23 euros for all of this and the burgers looked absolutely unbelievable. We are now going through some of the Gothic style lanes in the Gothic quarter and we are going to look for the cathedral. Really Gothic style and I'm sure it should be up here somewhere as the buildings have changed and they've got a lot more darker. As we are going up the lanes by Barragota Cathedral you can see how gothic design everything is. Got a ni nice little gothic bridge up there. So next to one of the cathedrals you can come inside and see some of the old gothic buildings. And you can then walk through and find out a bit of history. We were just walking around the um, Gothic Quarter in the centre of Barcelona and there is a woman just on the side and she takes photos of you in front of a Gothic bridge. So basically she will get her Canon camera out, she will take a photo of you and then it's automatically printed on a sort of newspaper style photo and you pay what you want. Um, it's, it's awesome. You can literally give her whatever. It's more of a donation. So we gave 20 euros and we kept the four photos because they were lovely. They were really nice to the family. This is the stall where you get your newspaper article. And then you have a photo then in front of this bridge, which is an amazing touch. A nice little souvenir for your holiday. You've got the Gothic Cathedral there, which we'll really be going in in a moment. So I'm just upstairs here now, having a little look around. So this is what we just looked around, the Casa de la Adesha, Adesha Historic. So Barcelona history. We are now in outside the Santa Cruz Cathedral in the Gothic Quarter. So we are now going to go inside there. Absolutely stunning once again. The architecture in Barcelona is absolutely incredible. Just take a look at that. So we're going to get some photo opportunities now outside here. As you can see, everyone is taking photos and you can pay to go inside, which we are now going to do. If you're going inside the Santa Crea Cathedral, this is where you get it, right next to the cathedral. And the tickets are 15 euros per person, so I'm going in myself for this one, so I can take a look around. So just to give you an idea how close the ticket office is, here's Santa Crea, official tourism information right next door, and you enter just up the steps here. I'm just gonna take you all on a little walk through a lot of the areas in here. A lot of these are sort of caged off. You can light a candle for a euro. It's absolutely huge in here.
a picture of it from a bird's eye view on the screen. Wow. And then going down by the altar now, getting closer. Look at the detail. Look how gothic design this is. Every single seat, individual paintings and writing on every single one. As you get by the altar, you can go down the steps and there's another section here, but it is gated off. You've got the massive cross there and the altar. For obvious reasons, this is blocked off in case people start touching and damaging. But look at the detail in this place. Incredible. You've got the stained glass windows. Just go into the side area now, which takes you outside. some fountains I think that's Mary and Jesus in there yeah it looks like Mary and Jesus and everywhere you go there are candles all lit I'm assuming if you want to light a candle for a loved one that may be passed. Um, everywhere going through is one euro to light one. Oh wow, that is absolutely incredible. Just look at the detail on everything here. It's quite a big outdoor area here. It takes you in like a big square. Oh, we got some swans over there. We'll go and take a look at them now. And you've got these inside rooms. Um, it says no pictures or cameras or anything. Um, yeah, we're going to go and take a look. Going to take a look in Chapter Hall. I just went in the Chapter Hall area um, of the church and they are very heavy on security in there and um, as soon as you walk um, through the door in there you can't have any cameras camera phones they warn you straight away and just as you go in on the left hand side there is a security guard and they are very heavily monitoring the cctv of what they're doing in there um, i'm not a massively religious person but all i could can say is wow there's some seriously old religious artefacts in there. Looks like a lot of gold, um, a lot of ancient sort of swords, um, old gold crosses. The paintings looked incredibly old. Um, the, some of the things in there, I can't even um, sort of explain what they were, but they looked unreal. Um, I can only imagine the value of that sort of stuff. So I, I imagine it's quite protected. So. If you do come here, um, obviously to the, to the chapter hall part, um, you're not going to be able to get your phone in there. Um, I thought I, I was going to try, but you, they'll, they'll throw you straight out. It's very secure, but all I can say is very impressive stuff that you're looking at in there. Little religious shop. They've got a bit of everything in here. Everything you can think of.
bracelets, key rings, little figures, babies. You can even buy a model of the church itself. If anyone knows why, then please leave a comment, but I don't understand um, why there are swans in a cathedral. Um, I think they're swans or geese, one of them. If you're looking for one of the best rooftop bars with the best view of Barcelona Cathedral in Barcelona, Hotel Colon Rooftop Bar is the place to go. That is where we are going to go now. We have just come into the Colon Hotel. This is rated one of the top rooftop bars in Barcelona. As you can see behind me, the incredible view. Um, you have to go into main reception <coughs> and come up to the seventh floor in order to access the terrace. And reception was so helpful. The gentleman on the entrance, he helped me with a pram and directed me up into the lift. They were really great. So we're going to show you what we have to drink and show off this incredible view. This is the terrace on the seventh floor. As you can see, quite small and private. I honestly thought it was going to be hectic up here, but it's really empty. I'm assuming it's because a lot of people don't know that they have to go through reception and then ask to come up for that incredible view. If you are liking the videos guys, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It's free to subscribe and the majority of you watching the videos aren't yet subscribed. So please do, it does mean a lot and helps continue me making these videos of everywhere that we travel to. If you love your designer shops, you're not gonna be out of luck in Barcelona because it is crawling with designer shops everywhere you go. You have guests across there, Uniqlo. Across the road there, you've got Nike and Tommy Hilfiger. We have American Vintage. Just two doors up then, you have Swarovski. And just up here, you have Louis Vuitton. Just over there, there's Levi's. Just across the road there, you've got Mango and Kenzo. Exactly on the opposite side of the road by us as well, you've got another Mango, so both sides of the road. There we have my absolute favorite, Burberry. Across the road then, you've got Emporio Armani, Dr. Martens. Hi everyone, we're now on our way back down to Salou. Just a tip for everyone, if you are getting the train from Salou up to Barcelona for the day, you cannot catch the train at Port Aventura uh, train station. That is not a main train station. I think with that, it's just where people come down from Villa Seca, where they stop at Port Aventura and let people off, but you can't get trains out of there as far as I'm aware. I did a bit of looking online and every train down to Barcelona was coming up from Villa Seca, so keep that in mind. It's around a 10 minute drive further on than Port Aventura World. So just a little tip for you if you are looking at traveling down to Barcelona from Salou. I hope you all enjoyed the video. We only came down for one day, so we've spent the full day here. It's now just gone 8 p.m. and we're on the train back. So we've been down here about eight, nine hours. You could spend three, four days in Barcelona and not be stuck with things to do. We've taken you today to some of the main things that we thought would appeal to everyone. So we've done the main cathedrals. We also done the rooftop bar and we give you a bit of a walk through. So there's loads of designer shops, restaurants. You're not gonna be stuck for things to do, guys. Little bit of an update. Last time I um, done a video, 
I was on the train to what I thought was Villa Sala in Salou. Two absolute clowns who worked in Barcelona uh, railway station told us platform one. We didn't realise until now that they've sent us to the wrong platform in the, in the wrong direction. So we've now ended up in Villanova over an hour in the opposite direction. So it's been an absolute shit show so far. So we've stayed on the train. So we're now heading back to Barcelona to hopefully then head up to Salou. It's nine o'clock at night. The train is an hour and a half and we are a further hour in the opposite direction. So we're looking at another two and a half hours on the train. Um, no information on the train tickets. Um, no platform information nothing on there to even for even what to look out for on the train um, that's, that's two two people both said platform one we questioned it because we will we thought we were on the opposite side and yeah absolute disaster 15 minutes later So we are now back in Barcelona and we cannot find anyone around this working to ask them where we go. No one speaks English and everyone has gone home. So we are now stuck on trying to get back to Salou because we got directed to completely the wrong platform and now there's nobody to tell us where to go because the train that we are looking for we can't seem to see it on the board. So we're now at the ticket machine, giving it a go, seeing if we can get any information. So I've put Villa Seca in on the screen now to try and find out any information on when the next train is. And absolutely nothing is coming up. Or do we have some luck this time? So Thursday 18th. cannot do nothing so at the moment we're stuck in Barcelona back at Barcelona now and um, we found out that the last train back to Salou was at half nine so we are now gonna try and find the coach station um, massive cock up by the staff in the train station shambles we've got a six month old with us and my 10 year old daughter and they've took us to the wrong platform and now we've got back and now we can't get a train we've got two dead phones as well so i am not happy with the staff in the train station i am really annoyed hi everyone i don't know if you can see us because we are at the back of the coach um it's now half 10 at night so we have managed to jump on a coach up to Salou um, which cost us £53 um, that we didn't need to spend due to the utter shit show from the train staff um, so main thing is we're all together we're all safe and we're on an air-conditioned coach on the way back up to Salou so a bit of a mad few hours um, so anyone who's getting the train um, from Barcelona up to Salou or anywhere in the surrounding areas make sure you double check because the staff send you to completely the wrong areas they sent us in the complete opposite direction and then by the time we got back to Barcelona the last train into Salou um, was at half nine so we were too late but we are on on the way back so we're all happy, we're all jolly and home to bed.